All right, I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to set up these cheap uh, Lithonia shop lights with LEDs. Uh, this is model number 1233. You can pick these up on Amazon or at Home Depot for about $13 a piece. They, uh, these two uh, T12 bulbs, which are not included, so you have to get your own bulbs anyway. Um, you can also pick up pretty much the same thing at Lowe's. It's under a different brand name, but it's the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to this up. So first thing you'll notice when you get them is that uh, the little tabs here are actually sitting down and like on this side they even have them uh, taped somewhat. Uh, so what you have to do is put them up and they just kind of click into place. And then same thing on this side. So um, actually, I'll show you first just like this, um, if you would take the bulbs, here's how you put them in, I've taken the little protector plates off there, and then you just slot in, just like that, and then you twist them, okay? I'm just going to use one for right now, but you can use uh, both obviously. Plug it in, there you go. These are hybrid LED bulbs, so you don't have to remove the ballast. Uh, however, they're not efficient if you don't remove the ballast. Um, this, running them this way, would be just as efficient as using a fluorescent light bulb. So, there's really no point to doing it that way, unless you want the color uh, difference. So now, let me show you the procedure for removing the ballast, which is really quick. Uh, so just two screws, and then this one. Uh, cover comes off. This is made out of really, really cheap metal. Uh, very, very thin, so you can see that it bends and flexes very easy, so you have to be careful with these. It also has a lot of sharp edges on it, um, so watch out for your fingers. Uh, so now here's the ballast. Let's go over a little bit of the electronics, what's going on here. Um, on either side, we've got these little connectors um, that hold the bolts, and you see they, uh, even though we clip them into place, there's nothing actually holding them uh, in place when you take the cover off. So if you're going to mount these up on the ceiling, you need to hold them in place with something. That's why we've got the hot glue here. So, um, so that's there. Uh, and then on this side, we've got another two connectors, which I'll bend out of the way so I can show you that we've got the uh, AC wire incoming. And it comes in here. The ground wire is grounded to uh, the metal uh, here. And then there is... Uh, the ballast, which is basically a transformer kind of thing, um, and you can remove it with a single screw at the bottom. I've got my finger placed on the nut here so it doesn't rotate. Okay. And this is sort of slotted in, so you can unslot it, take it out. Uh, and I'm going to cut fairly close to here because I'm just going to trash all these guys. Uh, the transformer, uh, the side of the ballast, like this. Okay, uh, and then I'm also going to do the same thing for the AC line coming in. So here you go. Put that in the junk pile. Um, so the next thing I need to do is uh, so how is the, how is this going to be wired once we have the ballast removed? Now, um, everything on this side is going to be wired to the hot side or neutral. And then this one will be hot wired to the neutral or hot, opposite way. So we've got basically, say the black wire connects all these, the white wire connects to these, and there you go, that's it. Very, very simple wiring. Cool. Get out the wire stripper. This is actually the longest, uh, most time consuming part of this entire project, is uh, stripping the wires. So I've got a little wire stripper guy here. So just put the uh, neutral wire here. And the hot 
wire together here. of duct tape. Just hold the wires in place. All right, and that's it. Put the cover back on. And there we go. Things are really bright. It's great. So there you go. That's how easy it is to uh, convert your cheap shop light into LED.